taken off uh, what about ten days or so. Yeah, and we're back slowly but surely getting uh, back into the swing. But um, a lot <laughs> of things happen while we're on vacation. Excuse me, I got a cough on the plane. Bastards! It's always getting always get sick on the plane. Always. You didn't sit next to an Asian fella, did you? Oh. No, it was some obnoxious guy. I like JetBlue, but it was the first time I flew it. But I don't like that you got to sit next to somebody you don't know. There's three seats. So if you go and you're a couple, there's a third person that's going to be sitting near you. And this guy was just all drippy-eyed and sniffly and coughing. And and there you go. I, I get sick. Bastards. I love first class. Two seats. Nice. You get your drink right away, so the alcohol kind of kills any germs that are <laughs> going near you. It might be hanging out. <laughs> I want to read every single word of this story. Oh, this I woke up Saturday morning, and I got the newspaper, and I laughed harder than I've laughed in a very, very long time. It's great. They caught a perv. This is a good thing about uh, the advent of the uh, camera phones. They caught a perv on the R train. The picture is up on opianthony.com. Go there immediately. If you haven't heard about this story yet, can you imagine? You're a perv. You think you're getting away with murder. Oh, yeah. And then you walk to your local uh, uh, corner store to get the newspapers, and there's your face on the front page of the New York Daily News, whacking it. Labeled pervert. Whacking it. That's Jacking right. Jacking off on the Jacking front page. Jacking off. This story goes like this. A 22-year-old woman <laughs> used her camera phone to snap a photo of a man who exposed himself to her on an uptown R train, and she has posted the picture on the Internet. So there she is, you know, on the train trying to get somewhere. There's the perv across the way. Uh -huh. He decides he has to pull out his penis, <laughs> and he's, uh, he's whacking it. He's jerking off, and he thinks he's getting away with it. And she pulls out her camera and click, click. Takes a snapshot. I'm thinking she might even, like, uh, kind of, like, uh lured him in a little bit like you know hey i got a camera i would love a picture of that it's all smiley and stuff you, you know? think i'm thinking and he's just jacking jacking thinking well the girl's cool with this and she wants a little uh a little souvenir of the event <laughs> well the site has already had more than 45,000 hits this was uh from saturday i, th I bet you this site has well over 100,000 hits now oh, of course. with one woman leaving the message i hope his mother sees it New York cops say the quick-thinking woman did a great shot. Uh, uh, did get a great shot of the guy. They hope someone will recognize him. The flasher flasher must at least be camera shy. After his picture was taken, he fled the train at the next stop. Yeah. The photo was originally posted at Flickr.com. We now have a link to it on uh, OpianAnthony.com with the following explanation from the young woman. This happened to me today, right after an interview I had. Luckily, I landed the job, so I was in a pretty defiant mood. I was riding on the R train uptown at 3 p.m. on Friday, August 18th, when a man exposed and began molesting himself on the train. Is that molesting yourself when you do that? Interesting. Pleasuring. It's just jacking off. Yeah, it's pleasuring. Uh, it was at the very end of the train, but it wasn't completely empty. It was at the very end of the train, but it wasn't completely empty. A Japanese couple sat on the other side, and the man was sitting adjacent to me. I was minding my own business, taking the train to work as usual, when this man got on the car and kept staring at me. I tried to avoid eye contact with him, but I had a feeling he was up to no good when he kept massaging his crotch. Yeah, that's a sign that you're up to no good. <laughs> I couldn't believe this guy had the audacity to do something like this in the middle of the day. So I took out my cell phone and turned on the camera. Then I aimed the camera at him and took a quick shot. He quickly zipped himself up and got off at the next stop. That didn't prevent me from getting a really good shot of him in the act. Yeah, there's this shot that you can see on OpianAnthony.com. You see his... Uh, his junk. His junk. In mid-stroke, it looks oh, like. Oh, yeah. Afterwards, I asked the Japanese couple if they saw anything. They saw the man, but they didn't notice what he was doing. I felt compelled to report this to the police so that would, so that it would prevent this from happening to other women. I said that if they did see anything... Then they could help uh, me go to the police and write in the report. I got off at 34th Street and reported to a token booth operator. She was very helpful and directed me to a policewoman. The policewoman wrote down my description, blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on. Okay. Oh, I guess that's from the journal, huh? I actually wanted the story. I... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is from the website. This is this is the website this journal. I actually her. wanted the story from the paper that uh, appeared in the Daily News on Saturday. Yeah, this is her whole thing. Yeah, because it goes on and on and on and on. I just want this story that appeared in the New York Daily News. We asked for it all morning. Can well, I Opie, if you would have asked for the story, 
maybe you would have gotten it. Obviously, you asked for this, didn't you? No, I did not. Where's the story? No, by asking for the story, you must have asked for this, because I heard you ask for the story about three times. And this is her, like, this is her diary of the whole event. This is her babbling. Just because she took a picture of a guy jacking off doesn't mean you want to hear her babble. And I've done that many times to myself and sent it out to girls on the net. Sure. And if I knew how to get on the damn web through this stupid computer, I would just re get it myself. It's a hurricane, Opie. It's uh, interfering with computers. So get me on opianthony.com. The, sto the story's up there. This, oh, my God. Well, glad to see not much has changed since we've been on vacation. Takes a little while to get back up to speed, Opie. Perhaps that's it. People are in voca vacation mode. Isn't this the story or no? Or is this the same shit? That's the same shit. That's not the story. Oh, oh boy. This is the story of the vacation. It was in... Uh, and how it was written in the Daily News was in the priceless. Daily News. Absolutely priceless. I got the new story about it. Well, yeah, well, I, uh, well, we have an update, but I want to do the original story yeah. first because, you know, we are a national show, and uh, and there's people all over the country that have not heard about this no. yet. No. Can somebody go on the dailynews.com and, and possibly get the story off oh, of there? Good luck finding it on that. You just, just punch Dailynews.com stinks. Yeah, no. It takes forever to load. For some reason, the post comes right up. Daily News. Maybe under, under search. You have to punch in some keyword. Oh, oh, I think somebody on instant feedback might have helped us here. Oh, really? Let me try oh, to Oh, maybe they can produce the radio show. That here. Or maybe they can sit in the studio to my left. But I'm to your left. No, you're, you're across from me. No, you're, you're not the guy just left. sent us the guy just sent us the new story. Yeah, the we, update. Well, yeah, but we want we'll do the update after we do the original story. That's how it works. Great. Everyone's scrambling now. Ah, oh, you've ruined it. You've ruined it already. See that? It was supposed to be good, and now too much time has passed. The eye wall has disintegrated. The pressure's rising. Did you hear about that in New Orleans? Yeah. It must be like a major problem. Dude, I, I'm so out of touch. I just, I really was very unaware of the storm hitting New Orleans until I came in here. You really had no idea? No. That's you. That's for what I know. You for. just don't pay attention <laughs> to anything but yourself it's just and your ass. sexual addictions. <laughs> Fool I am. It's just a, a yeah. hurricane of right. jism in your room. It was about a, it. And by the way, the, the fact that Jimmy Steve has the, the the crew cut and the glasses perched up on the top of his head, and I want to remove them with a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> Can you get that again, please? <laughs> I thought I'd be excited to see y'all. No. Vacation? Not no. at all. I need another week away. <laughs> I was kind of happy to see you guys. I wasn't happy to see any one no. of you. I'm happy to see I had a the good crew. I had a good taste of what retirement will be like, and, oh. I, and I liked it a lot. <laughs> you had wonderful. two years of retirement. You didn't like it. I spent time with you. It was awful. Yeah, but now we've been back a while. No. Now we can leave Back on long our, enough. Now we can leave on our terms. Oh. Hunt perv caught in a flash. Let's try this uh, version of the story, Okay. Uh, make believe you didn't hear anything I said because All that was right. from her diary. And I knew we were going to have a problem when I picked up the, the thing that I thought was the news story. And it yeah. was like 10 pages long yeah. with very small writing. I'm like, no newspaper will print all this crap. All right, when a pervert exposed himself on a Manhattan subway last week, <laughs> reached for her secret weapon, her camera phone. Is that her name? Something like that. Chang Chang. Just make some kind of model airplane noise. That's her name. Mang Chang. Mang Chang Chang Chang. The quick thinking 22 year old. I'm going to point to you every time they mention her ah. her name in the paper and you okay. can do the uh, the uh, model airplane noise, okay? So yeah. let me start again here. When a pervert exposed himself on a Manhattan subway last week, <laughs> reached for her secret weapon, her camera phone. The quick thinking 22 year old snapped a shot of the smirking sicko. Took it to cops and then posted it on the internet. See how much better this story is already? Nice. Uh, word of her campaign to nail the flasher. Raced through cyberspace and more than 45,000 people have viewed the photographic evidence by last night. I just hope they catch him. <coughs> told the Daily News. Maybe someone will, re will recognize him. Maybe it will stop other people from doing it, she said. Maybe other women will use their camera phone to stop crime. <coughs> 
transformation from quiet web developer to feisty crime fighter happened on an uptown R train the afternoon of August 19th. She was on her way back to work after a job interview when a middle-aged blonde-haired man dressed in a black shirt and jeans sat down across from her. He kept staring at me, she said. I could feel his eyes on me. I wanted to avoid eye contact, so I looked away, but I could see his reflection in the window. I saw him massaging himself, and then he unzipped and pulled it out. Mm -hmm. I thought, I can't believe he's doing this in the middle of the day. At night would be uh, fine. The subway car was mostly empty, and... <laughs> the second. Jesus. It didn't have her middle name in that part of the article. The plane was doing a loop. Oh, the subway car mostly empty and mm -mm. <laughs> felt nervous. So she pulled out her Samsung P777 cell phone equipped with a 1.3 me megapixel digital phone. Ooh, 1.3. I turned on the camera, she said. He was still masturbating. I aimed it and quickly took the shot. As soon as I took it, he zipped up and got off the train. <laughs> Said she was disgusted by the incident and immediately reported to police officer to a police officer at the 34th Street station. The next day, she filled out an official complaint, and the following day, a detective had her look at hundreds of photos of ex-cons. None of them was the culprit, but wasn't about to give up. She posted the degenerate photo on the website Flickr and Craigslist, and bloggers wow. began linking to her site. Uh, her photo and story drew a few juvenile snickers, but most of the comments have been positive. One, oh no, one netizen wrote, sorry, you go girl. Another commented, I hope his mom sees it. The NYPD, which confirmed, had filed a complaint, also was impressed. It's great she took the picture. It'll help with the investiga uh, investigation. If I can be, if it can be done in a safe manner, it'd be helpful to locate the suspect. They're talking about other people possibly using their camera phones to, uh, to you know, to uh, shoot pictures of crimes taking place. <laughs> You're taking your job a little too seriously. Had it started, it stopped, ran out of gas. Isn't the first strap hanger to use her cell phone to catch a criminal? And then it goes on and on. So basically, there's the story. And the front page, the Daily News took a very brave stance. They decided to print the picture on the front page of the Daily News on Saturday. What a waker-upper when you're having your <laughs> cup of coffee. Oh, no, That's me jacking off on the front page. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no, like, you know, well, it looks like I know it's me, but I don't think anyone else would know it's me. No. No, it's pretty much very it's obvious you who that person is. you jerking off. On the front page. So if you haven't seen the picture yet, go to opianthony.com. It's up there in all its glory. So we have an update today in, uh, in the paper, New York Daily News. Are you ready? Because I think her name's in this paper as well. Ooh. Cops want to question a Manhattan restaurant owner after getting numerous tips. <laughs> numerous tips. <laughs> that he's the subway flasher caught in the act by camera phone, uh, police sources said last night. Nearly two dozen people have phoned the Daily News and the NYPD to say they believe... Dan Hoyt, oh. good old Dan Hoyt, Danny, co-owner of raw food eateries called <laughs> Raw Food <laughs> Quintessence, is the man whose photo appeared on the cover of Saturday's newspaper. Whew. Good old Dan Hoyt. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing! <laughs> Who thought he got away with something? Investigators contacted Hoyt by phone and asked him to come in for an interview. NYPD uh, NYPD sources said no arrests have been made. Hoyt did not return the news calls, and his business partner and ex-wife said it's not proven yet. She said whoever the flasher is, he needs counseling. Yeah, there should be a support center to support these men to find what is the cause of their action instead of putting them in jail, she said. Hoyt and Chan co-own two restaurants. He uh, he was married to a, an Asian girl? Uh, looks like that, yeah. Yeah, see, he's into Asian girls. Tolentin Chan. Uh, yeah, owns a, a, a restaurant down there on uh, in the East Village and somewhere else, I guess. The photo <laughs> appeared in the news after Thou... N oh, that's your part. Oh. The photo appeared in the news after... <laughs> 22, used her cell phone to take a picture of a blonde-haired man who exposed and followed himself on an R train on August 19th. Two other women who saw the picture, which also was, post, which was also posted on the Internet, have come forward to say they were flashed by the same man. Rats. 
Uh, when it did happen to me, I was in shock, said a 31-year-old Manhattan woman. It's a violation of my space and my sense of safety. It angered me. He, he thought he could get away with it, she said. Yeah. We've talked to a lot of women, and they said that it's more silly than anything. Right. It's not a violation of uh, space or any of that, as long as this creep isn't, you know, approaching them and, trying, them and trying to go further. A lot of women, I'm just talking for them, that have called in the past, because we, we talk about this yep. every once in a while. They think it's goofy. They think it's just plain silly. and Silly. And that it looks ridiculous. Of course. Uh, she said the men flashed her twice in the past six months, both times on the one in nine line. Jesus. She said the man flashed her twice in the past six months. She's, Same guy? She saw this guy twice in the past six months do this to her. This was another woman that came forward. I know that face and remember that creepy smile, she said. What a surprise to see his face on the front page of the Daily News. I'm grateful for Mrs. <laughs> Quick thinking and hope this man gets caught. Here's your question. Has it ever worked? Has there ever been a time where a guy yanked his dick out on a train and a woman went, oh, man, I got to suck that. Right. That's never, never worked. Never, ever. Why would you do it? Well, I don't, I don't think you're pulling it out hoping that the chick's <laughs> going to suck it. Well, you, you I think, think she likes it. I think you're pulling it out because you want to, like, shock someone. Like, look what I'm doing. Really? What do you think? I don't, that's what I'm thinking. You think know. if she came over and said, hey, let me She's going to suck his up, dick right on the train? You think if that happened that the guy would be like, oh, get away. I just want to shock you. I think it's, Or you think I, that would be like, oh, my God, I can't believe it finally worked. So you're thinking rationally. Well, he's I, not rational. Yeah, right. Oh, my God. They already have photoshopped your head on. <laughs> ah, there it is. The creep's photo. It is deeply disturbing. I believe that will be on um, whackbag.com under the Photoshop section. There you go. There's Jim Norton on the uh, the train. Whacking his bag on the Whacking train. Whacking his bag. My dick was that small. I deserve to have my face on the cover of the yes. paper. He's packing like four and a half. <laughs> his yeah, hand covers the whole hard. thing. So... I don't know. Uh, you think that uh, th these guys do it hoping that th they're going to get some action out of it? I, I don't know. I don't think they think it through, obviously, but it's like you have to think that the other person is getting something out of it. You probably yeah. think, like, I'm trying to show her this cock. Yeah, and she's like, going to love it. Because you're in your own sexual addiction. You're in your own in sick place. So you're thinking that they're going to be into it, too, because, you know, you're watching pornography, and every time you yank a cock out in porn, someone takes care of it. I don't think he's thinking it's going to happen, but right. I think he's hoping... I think he's really, like, hoping maybe, you know, one in a million is going to... Do you really think? Maybe irrationally. He probably... Didn't, I mean, he doesn't expect it to happen, but no. if he did, he'd probably be very happy. He'd be very happy, yeah. He's not expecting uh -oh. it. Yeah. All right. That's great. But you can finally say hi to Rob in New Jersey. Rob, what's up? <coughs> hey, I wonder if the guy on the train pulled his dick out and used the old Jay Moore line. Hey, now, what are we going to do about this? What are we going to do about this? Yeah. Take your picture and put you on the front page, idiot. It's just great, though, that the picture was on the front page oh, of the Daily News. That's courage. It's August. We could have warned them. Bad time to do that, sir. Yeah. That's how you know there's not a lot of news going on. Guys jerking off on the front page of the paper. Front page. Pretty that's brave of the news to take that bold move and then yeah. throw it on the front page, by the way. It's worse than Opie and Dopey. I don't even think the Post even covered the story. They didn't even cover the story at all. Really? It was like a Daily News exclusive. And the Daily News uh, ran with it. Jeremy in D.C., what's up? Hey, uh, I was just calling to tell you that I have a friend who successfully <laughs> masturbates in front of other people on the subway all the time here. Really? He tells you this? Yeah, he tells me it when it happens. He, he acts like he doesn't all do it all the time, but once in a while he tells me that, that he's done it today and that he's done it. <laughs> I'm a friend of mine. Wow. No, I'm serious. The uh, thing is, he's gay, and he does it to other guys who go in for it, so that's why it's quite it's kind of different that way. I think the listeners went on vacation, too. And they're, yeah, they're having a little slow time getting back. They're having a tough time getting back into the groove as well. All right, Jeremy, thank you. And now Jeremy's mad at us. Yeah. Uh, Jet Blue Pest. You. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on? Hey, man. Hey. Yeah, uh, Anthony, uh, you're... Uh, Girlfriend didn't look too happy when I was yelling ONA party rock there at the gate there. Oh, is this Steve? Yes, this is Steve. Steve. Yeah, the stuttering prick. Steve works for JetBlue. <laughs> he was at the gate when I was walking in, and he goes, ONA party rock. And then he asked me to sign something, so he, like, printed out some kind of receipt, and, and I signed it, and everyone's looking on, like, why does this guy have to sign something to get on the plane? They were all horrified, like I was some kind of terrorist. And how to sign something to get on the plane. You are a Middle Eastern looking creep. Oh, I know. Terrorist. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> he set off an alarm, too. He was telling me in the office. Oh, on the, at customs. 
uh, in uh, the Bahamas. I'm walking through, and I had uh, my st- my stress test uh, like two weeks ago, and they pump you up with some kind of radioactive isotope, and you get on the treadmill and tear it up, oh, and yeah, then they yeah. take the pictures uh, of everything and make sure everything's cool, you know, totally cool. And uh, it, it was like two weeks ago, and I go through customs, and the custom inspector, his he's got like a beeper, and it starts going off, and I'm pissed because I think he's going to make a phone call, and uh, he goes... Did uh, you have a stress test within the past couple of weeks? And I'm like, yeah, how do, you, how do you know? He goes, you set off the radiation detector. <laughs> that was his radiation detector. Beeping. That's great. Now we're all in here. I was <laughs> I irradiated. I'm thinking, man. I was irradiated. <laughs> That's great. Nice to know it works. Yeah, yeah great. <laughs> we're going to come in with our hair falling out tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> You're healthy as a mule. Nice to know it works. <laughs> it's like, wow. But they, they just go, okay, go through. I could have had some kind of nuclear stuff on me. It's nice to know, though, that uh, that's working. <coughs> it right? actually worked. It actually works. Okay. Mm-hmm. We'll, uh, we'll take another break here.